What's a girl gonna do? What's up, Slobbers? I'm Coco Positive. I'm on a walk. I have my mask, but there's no one around me. Hence the vlogging. I'm on a walk in Prospect Park to celebrate my COVID, celebrate life, liberty, and the pursuit of health. I tested positive for COVID today, and I've been wanting to vlog again, so why not vlog my COVID journey? It has been hot in New York. It has been like humid, 90s every day. This is the most beautiful afternoon. I wish I could accurately capture how this is the most beautiful evening in the park of all time. I'm really having a moment of COVID gratitude. I wouldn't be on this walk. I would not be here right now if I had didn't have COVID. And so I'm grateful that I'm here. I almost just did a normal circle of the park and I decided I wanted to go add a little loop on in the middle. And as I was crossing a pond, I heard the saxophone from across the pond. So I traversed up a hill to chase down the music. And it was quite lovely to just sit there and listen to the music. The park is absolutely popping and crawling with people. There's humans in every nook and cranny, including me. Everywhere I look, there are people smoking pot and doing other activities too, but that's the main one that I see. There's a lot of people out and about smoking pot tonight and I support it, obviously. I have nothing to tell you about because I haven't interacted with a human for days. Actually, I could tell you about how we got here, how I found out about my COVID. I don't know, basically over the weekend, I spent time with Ben, basically, I saw Ben and Mia. Then Ben tested positive with COVID, but I didn't test. I took a test and I was fine. And then I started feeling kind of weird. What the heck? I, this is not, the story is not going well. I'll tell you later. Is this my COVID vlog or just me telling you how much I love Prospect Park? When I got sick earlier this week, Wade ordered me a ton of Thai food in a move that he calls meal prep where you order a ton of takeout and then you just eat that throughout the week. So I have been eating my Thai food meal prep all week. Wade is a sweetie and he ordered me lots of soup because I'm sick, but it's 95 degrees every day this week. So I'm not eating hot soup. So I saved the soup for last and I'm not eating it warm. I'm, so I'm just eating rice with cold soup <laughs> and soy sauce. Um, yes, this is what I call cold soup. It's just like tofu and carrots and cabbage and soy sauce alone in my room. But I'm actually enjoying it. Life is awesome. Okay, everyone. Something went wrong. Shut the heck up. Shut the heck up. Shut the heck Please up. try again. So basically, it's 921 and at midnight, Speak Now, Taylor's version comes out. Yeah. If you know, you know. If you watched my London vlog, you saw me fall in love in real time with Eber J pajamas. And now here I am wearing them every day of my life. I've gotta go to bed. Speak Now Taylor's version comes out so soon. Good morning. It's Taylor Swift album release day. I wish my nails were purple for Speak Now, but they're be a summer blue. This is my summer color. Usually on the morning of a Taylor Swift album release, I would wake up early to go for a run and listen to the album in its entirety on the run, but I'm not well enough to run right now. I don't think that would be good for my illness, so instead I'm going for a walk, but I didn't wake up early enough today to do that because I let myself sleep in because I'm sick. I am going to have to do the, run, the walk in two parts, once before work and once midday work, lunch break. Okay, I've only listened to the first 11 tracks so far, but I love it. And I got full body chills from Enchanted and I sobbed to Never Grow Up and Speak Now, the song. I finished the second half of the album and I like some of the vault tracks, but some of them, like half of them, I am cracking up over because they are just so cheesy and bad. And that's all. Here I am sitting at my desk working. 
and I'm eating for lunch my crab fried rice, my Thai food meal prep, and I'm loving it. Fun fact, if you don't know this about me, this is a good thing to know about me. I don't know how to type. I never learned to type. They didn't teach us how to type about a cross, and when I transferred to public school in fourth grade, they had already done the typing class, so I would just sit there and I'd just type with my two fingers. Hey, it's Bia. This is how I type. No more, you know? Guess what? Guess where I'm going? You would not freaking believe where I'm going. You would not believe it. I'm going back to the park. But this time, I'm going to hang out with friends. My COVID friends. We're relocating so we can have a better view of the sunset. Ben and Mia gave me COVID. How was your COVID experience, Ben? Uh, overall, it's positive. Um, yeah, it's been pretty chill. I didn't feel sick chill today. I was actually just thinking about how I asked you, like, do you know anyone who's gotten COVID recently? Yes. Like, no. And then we had COVID probably while I was saying that. You're like, COVID didn't, like nobody gets anything, COVID yeah. anymore. Yeah, I was uh, like, I legitimately am never going to get it. I'm immune. <laughs> I'm not yet. And Three and a half years. We have to though. asking ourselves what we did to deserve such a great weekend. <laughs> and it confirmed my theory that we had to pay for a good weekend with a, a week of COVID. And was it worth it? Yes. But it was worth it. Okay, goodbye, my only friend. COVID ward. COVID ward. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. I'm walking home through the park and it's dark out but I just had a lovely time. It was so fun to hang out with friends and I'm feeling really, I can't believe it's a Friday night. Oh my God, it's Friday night. Ooh, ooh, Friday night. Got home from the park and now it's nighttime. I'm not going to bed yet, but you don't need to know what I do at nighttime. Nobody needs to know what I'm doing in lockdown at nighttime. Good morning. Oh. Is this a case of the Saturday morning sleepers or the COVID? I haven't done anything. I'm just laying in bed. I'm really nervous to film on the street. Basically, I'm turning my day around. I put on a skirt and my favorite visor, and I'm gonna go to the farmer's market with my mask to get something to make a yummy lunch. I really thought that going to the farmer's market would make me happy, but it hasn't made me happy yet. Farmer's market haul, except I don't say anything because I'm shy of my roommates. Tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, kale, oh, kale yeah, get it girl. And Kirby cucumbers, and my favorite little apricots, yum. Corn, okay. And a dirty little shallot. I never showed you my finished result of my salad yesterday. And the reason is, it's because it was really disappointing. It's not that it's bad, I just was expecting it to be like life-changing farmer's market goodness, but it didn't taste like much to me except for like spicy. Okay, it's coffee time. This is my favorite coffee. And I'm gonna make a veggie scramble with cheese. I intend to get back to being a normal person this week, so I'm doing a bit of a Sunday reset. And the most important step of my coffee is to put it in the freezer and wait for a while. Okay, the final product doesn't look that good, but 
I'm excited. I didn't want to eat another meal in my room, so I'm eating on the fire escape, aka my Brooklyn balcony. Look at this crazy creature I've been joined by. Okay, I think that run was a little premature, but all good. Glad I did it. I most importantly wanted to test out my new running shoes. They're absolutely rocket. It's been saying it's gonna rain for the past few hours. The rain started coming down just as I was walking up the block to the apartment, so I'm feeling blessed and I'm drinking my post-run smoothie. Feeling pretty good. Except there is an extra sense of doom of Monday coming when I didn't have like a full weekend. It's crazy how fast the weekend flies when you don't do anything. I'm out for my last walk of the weekend. I think I'm gonna be done with my quarantine after today, so I'm going to the office tomorrow. If you have been confused by the timeline of the video, good. That was an artistic choice to reflect the curious way that time seems to pass and not pass while you're locked up in quarantine. Thank you for coming on my journey. I don't think I said, what's up slobbers at the beginning of this video. So goodbye slobbers. <laughs>